price is remaining constant if price remains constant it means that the only thing we could adjust on are the quantity supplied so if we're going to talk about movement along the supply curve it means other factors that have, that might affect supply are remaining constant so there it's it's expected for them not to change so firms will not need to think about or increase in cost of production, reduction in cost of, cost of production. They don't need to think about advancement in technology because all these things will remain the way they are. So the only thing they can adjust is the price, so which will bring about contraction or expansion. So for shifting the supply curve, a shift in supply curve will occur as a result of a change in the non-pricing factors. Here, price remains constant, ceteris paribus. So as soon as price remains constant, firms do not need to think about the price. So whatever they have to do will be based on those non-pricing factors because consumers will not pay more than the equilibrium price. Producer will not be able to sell below or above the equilibrium price. So they have to sell at the market price. So now cost of production. And increase in the cost of production represents high cost of production. And if cost of production increases, based on the fact that firms are not, able, are not going to be able to change the, cost, the price of the product, because it's fixed, it's constant. So they won't have the incentive to produce more. Yeah. Because if they do, nobody's going to buy based on the law of demand. The higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. So they don't have any other choice than to reduce their production, their supply into the market. When they are able to reduce supply in the market, the product becomes scarce. Consumers might be willing to buy at any price. Do you get it? Yes. So that is cost of production. So an increase in the cost of production will shift the supply curve left row from S1 to S2. Is it clear? Yes. 